Good evening. My name is Brendan Hemmerkhaus, and I'm going to take a look at how my last negotiation for my Marketing 445 class went. With some background into the case, I am a sales manager at Frigo Appliance Manufacturers. I am finalizing a deal with the purchasing manager from Beverly Frills, an exclusive appliance store. The presidents of the two companies have already agreed on the price and quantity of the order. I need to determine delivery time, product variations among the fridges, and when we will receive payment. See, look at our options. What did I do well in that um, negotiation? I began the negotiation explaining what are that you I was familiar with this company and with? knew that they like to offer several so variations as far for the as the but product if they variations, could sacrifice product I variations your company for a quick delivery time, we could come um, to a, a deal. Lot of different options. So even though he might be stock, giving up but, more variations, um, our difficulty I would be our delivery time would be significantly be longer. And I have um, audio the more variations we have. Okay. Showcase so that. what we would like to propose is that we provide you with one type of product, one variation, but in return we would be able to get it to you in two to three weeks. I know your company typically does um, a lot of different options for what you stock. But um, our difficulty would be our delivery time would be significantly longer um, the more variations we have. Okay. So what we would like to propose is that we provide you with one type of product, one variation, but in return we would be able to get it to you in two to three weeks. On another thing I did well, I conceded on some items, but on others I had a flexible bargaining zone that still allowed me to consider it a gain. So by starting with a higher starting point, I was able to negotiate down to a slightly lower level for me, but it was still a gain because I had started higher. Hoping to get so at least what did I do not quite so well. Five different types. I was very quick to allow you could meet me in the middle of product variation three types. And it cost me significantly more that. per maybe. unit sold. Or, uh, and I have an audio work clip it up of to maybe four well. to five weeks. That could possibly work. Hoping to get I think we could do three types, but it would definitely be within the four to five weeks. Okay. Mark. Definitely. I think we could do three types, but it would definitely be within the four to five weeks. Okay. Mark. When we began, I did not have a BATNA in mind, and I could have used that as a bargaining technique and held out a little longer in some of my concessions and maybe came out a little higher in the end. So what was the end result? I came to an agreement with Beverly Frills that I would sell them 100 fridges at $2,000 per unit. Those units would be three different variations of the base model and would be delivered in four to five weeks. Beverly Frills will pay us over a two month period. I receive $800 for each fridge sold, minus the cost of some of the terms I conceded on in my negotiations. So that comes out to $800 minus $100 for four to five week delivery, minus $60 for three product variations, minus $200 for two months credit, which is equal to $440 per fridge times 100 fridges gives me $44,000 on my commission from this sale.